Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a first angle orthographic projection of the figure shown here. Before drawing your first angle orthographic projection, it is important to note where is your front view, your plan and your end view. You start first by drawing the front view. So on your isometric grid paper, you begin by dividing the paper into four quadrants. Followed by adding in the 45 degree line on the fourth quadrant. Just a little touch up here. Right. Count about two squares from the horizontal and the vertical, which is 10 mm away from the horizontal and the vertical start line drawing the front, front view like this ok you gotta take note that all your dimensions should be in mm in this case we will be drawing in a scale of 1 is to 1 Therefore, it will be the exact dimensions on your first angle orthographic projection. Okay. Now, once you have finished with the front view, don't forget to label it at the top and underline. Then extend the projection lines away from the front view like this. Now this should not these projection lines should not be touching your drawing at all. Okay. Say for the vertical lines, project it downwards. Okay. Once you're done with this, proceed with to draw the plan view. Now the important thing with the plan view is the perspective that is being drawn is from the top but it's from the top view when you come from the front so imagine yourself standing in the front view first looking at the front elevation and then as you rise up to the top and as you look down that perspective will be your plan view right? do not make this mistake of looking the at the plan view from the end elevation because when you rise up and you look it from the end elevation the plan view is longer vertically instead of horizontally when you view it from the front view so always view the plan elevation from the front elevation right. back to our drawing so therefore we start once you've gotten the plan elevation right Continue. So let me do this. Right here.
Let's extend the projection, horizontal projection lines all the way to the 45 degree line. this video I'm drawing it a little bit dark I'm drawing the projection lines a little bit dark so that it can be seen in the video but these projection lines should be thinner than the lines used to draw the various perspectives Once you have completed the N elevation again, remember to label it the N elevation. Now in a typical first angle orthographic projection, you would be required to write down the dimensions. But in this case, as long as you indicate the scale, you do not have to put in the dimensions. Unless you do not put a scale, then you would have to indicate the actual dimensions of the various parts they represent so remember to indicate the scale and once you have that write down the symbol for the first angle draw the symbol for the first angle orthographic projection okay there you have it the first angle orthographic projection of the object show. Thank you for watching this video.